Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, while I sit here, you are going to go and carry on where you left off last time. Enjoy! And look at this place. Mage Trainer, Master Mage, right there. There's portals everywhere in here, okay? So there's a portal up there. This is to... Kul I think. Mage Trainers over here. Right, we got fantastic things up here. I mean, it looks really cool. It, it genuinely does. It looks absolutely awesome in here. And then up this side, we've got a whole load of portals. So we've got right there, I've got uh, Darnassus. So I'm assuming that's a portal to Darnassus. And then, oh no. Right, so where's that? Kirin Tor. I'm not quite sure where that is. This... That looks like that's actually a portal to Kul I don't know where that one goes. And then over this way we've got yet more portals. So we've got a portal here to... Ah, now that one I can use. Portal to Dalaran. I can take that portal there to Dalaran. This one here I can't use. That's the Pandaria one. So we can't take anything to Pandaria. And then over here... Oh, can... Oh, no. You can't use mounts in here. Uh, we've got a portal to Exodar right there. We've got Magic Trainer. I've got a portal to Shatrath there. So I've got Dalaran Crystal Song Forest. I've got Exodar. Mage Trainer. So where's the portal to... That's Pandaria. Where's the one to Darnassus and where's the one to Iron Forge? Stormwind City, I can't get out there. Where's Iron Forge? Ah, oh, that's the main entrance in and out. I see there's people running in and out there. Now we come over here, so I can't use that one and I can't use that one. That looks like someone else has used it. And I can't use that one either. There's nothing up there. So why is that? Well, where's the portal to Iron Forge? I want to go to Iron Forge. Well, I might want to. Dalaran Crystal Song Forest. So that's the one that we've. That's the Dalaran that we've been to, right? That's that's our Dalaran. And then you got this one here. That takes us to Exodar and Shatrath. Right, Exodar is obviously the home of the Drenel, the, the Drenel, the Drenai. So we're missing a portal to, where's, I'm missing a portal to Darnassus and I'm missing a portal to Iron Forge. I don't have a portal to either of those two. Where is my portal to Darnassus and Iron Forge? Why do I not have portals to Darnassus and Iron Forge? I find this very distressing. I come through here. Right. That brings you out into this bit. So where's the portal to Iron Forge? Right. You used to be able to just portal to any of this. There used to be a portal there as well. But there is no longer a portal there. Portal to Iron Forge. You see, you used to be able to portal direct to Iron Forge or portal direct to Darnassus. We do have the portal to um, Exodar, right, which is all the way out here. No, Azeroth, uh, Kalimdor. Exodar is here. One of these islands. Blood Mist Isle. Blood Watch. So it's, it's, it's up one of those two. I can't remember which one. Um, but Darnassus. Why is there no portal to Darnassus? I'm confused. Why is there no portal to Dar? I couldn't see a portal to Dar. I'm gonna have to look this up now. Uh, we got we we ha we do have a quest in here as well. That I wanted to go and look at. Uh, apparently, the, there should be portals to Iron Forge, and if they're not there right now, it's um, they're going to be replaced. So I didn't see a portal to Iron Forge, but they're, apparently, they they it's something that is coming back. Now, I'm gonna wander down into here. I've got a portal there. That's the guardians. This 
like the hydral type thing. I don't want to worry about that for a minute. What I do want to do is I want to come in here and let's see what we got. We got Grand Admiral Jess Terrath. You? you are. What do you want? A team for a high priority mission. Oh, uh, no. Oh, I don't wow. want to do that because that starts the, the Vashjia quest line. So that's not something that I want to do. I am more interested in going over here. Okay, who's that? Alicia. Alicia! Friend Kaylee, you know, in Outland. Could you take my poem to her? My mommy says I'm too young to go to Shatford City. Uh, whilst I think that is a wonderful thing and, and all, I'm not doing it. Nope. 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 I'm not getting involved. Not getting involved. Right. Let's go whizzing through here. So this little portal zone here, this one has been left here because th this is like kind of a thematic area anyway. Toll Barrett, I can't use that. Wait a minute. Oh, the Toll Barrett one I can use. Can't use the Vashtier one. This is the one that... Oh! That's active. It feels wrong using that, though. Right? It definitely feels wrong using that. What because do you need, stranger? The Maelstrom Eye of the Storm. So nope. long. That's to do the uh, the Deep Holm quest line there, which I don't want to do. Um, but yeah, going to Oldham, that actually teleport. It used to teleport you right into the middle of Oldham, and that doesn't feel right, i got to be said. Um, teleports you to the zone there. I want to be able to do my quest. I need to get to there. So we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to go and get the boat. And in order to get the boat, we're going to want to go to Menethil Harbour. Right, what do we got? Oh, that's a pet quest. That's, yeah, that's, that's battle pets. We'll ignore those. So we want to go to Menethil Harbour. To get to Menethil Harbour, the best and easiest and fastest route is actually in here. I mean, we can fly, and to be honest, it would probably be faster if we did fly. But I like the idea of taking the tram. We are not going... See? There goes the tram. We've missed our tram. Even if I'd done that, I don't think I'd have made it to the tram on time. I'd have just missed it. So we go over here. When that tram there gets up to the other end, the other one will come out this end. And can you see that? Congratulations. Minkus Diggs yells, bury me with a shovel. Literally. Um, yeah, that is the, the Brawler's Guild. And you get to that. That's underneath the Deep Run tram. And you can go there. You can go along and you can actually fight. Closer. Right there. There's someone who's been fighting. You go in and, and you do... It's, it's kind of like a PvE thing. Like the Brawler's Guild. You don't have to fight other people. Other people watch you do it. So you do have to take in turns to do it. But there is a... Um, you basically... It's it's you against other creatures. And, 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 and so on. And you have to fight your way... Through all of these various different creatures. And defeat them. Why can't I... Don't fall off the tram, Frith. Whatever you do, don't fall off the tram. Uh, you have to fight your way through. When when you're busy doing that, when, when you're busy doing your fight, you have to fight your way past a whole load of bosses. Kind of like the Ring of Blood trials and the Crusader trials and things like that. Um, you're, it's, it's testing your PvP skills. Uh, not PvP, sorry. PvE skills. It's testing your PvE skills. Testing yourself against other creatures. There's, there goes the other tram. And it's all the flooded stuff underneath the water. Um, testing your PvE. So you, you're fighting against various creatures. Um, using all the skills at your disposal. But PvE skills. Not PvP stuff. PvP is completely different. And you use a whole different set, uh, sort of skill range and skill set. In order to do it. And it's not something that we need to actually worry about if you go and do the Brawler's Guild. And that's something that I really love about the Brawler's Guild. It's fun, but it's also, it's not something that you, you like, you're being forced to do PvP. And I think that's one of the reasons it is as popular as it is. Is a lot of people really like the Brawler's Guild. And they spend a lot of time playing in the Brawler's Guild. Because of the fact that you don't need to do anything with um, PvP. Ever. Right? It's the entire thing is 100% PVE equipment. Uh, it, P PVE equipment? PVE stuff. I'm gonna get these rats. There we go. 
Take those out. So we've now come up in Iron Forge, anyway. Let's go up into here. I just got a couple more little um, critters. Um, well, I'm actually, there was a lot of damage being done to those rats. I'm hoping that we've now done, a, you know, added a few extra critters to the total for the guild. A little step closer towards our armadillo pup. It's always nice. And we are in the city of Iron Forge. So let me just come out of the tunnel right here. And we can mount up onto our Jade Panther. And we need to go straight outside. So there's two entrances into here. You can go out one way and you, there's, there's also a back entrance. And I can't remember how to get into the back entrance. Not from inside the city. Right, if you go from here, like there, you've got... Uh, there's the magic lamp. So you've got the gates of Iron Forge, but I don't remember how to get out the back bit. I don't even remember where it came in. I can. We'll we'll go. We'll go up over the mountain. This is the way out, by the way. All right. Well, we all know this. We've done this many times. So we'll go up and over. Over we go. We go up over the top. You're going higher. And then we want to head over this way. Now, there was an, there is a back entrance. A back entrance to Iron Forge over here. And we have seen it and we have used it. We have gone into the back entrance to Iron Forge. Is, is it here? No, this is just a cave up here, isn't it? Yeah, this is just a random cave. Dunmorrow Sledder. Another Sledder up there. That's just crazy people. Right? That's, that's just a bunch of crazy people. No, this is the bit down here and the the thing that i really like about this is you got the back entrance to iron forge here and then you've got these farms that are protected right in the middle of the mountains it's impossible to get to these areas via down the bottom right they're completely hidden and they're defended and so essentially what you've got is in the time in times of war their dwarven farmer in times of war the farms for Iron Forge are still productive and still able to be used because they can't be like the, the cliffs down here. They're, they're unscalable cliffs. Or, that you know, in theory they're supposed to be. I mean, I suppose what they can always do is they can just pull the farmers straight in the doors and they come up here into into this one. Right, why, why can't I get in there? Why, can, why can't I go in? I've been in here before. I've been... I've, I have! I've been through that entranceway there before. It let me in there once. Am I not allowed in there because I've got a quest going or something? I'm really disappointed now. I want to be able to go back in there. Oh. Huh. Why did they close the gates on me? I didn't do anything to deserve it. Yeah, you've got a, a path that comes down there and down here and... Ah! Dwarven farm. I didn't even know there was sheep down here. Because you've got a load of sheep next to Iron Fort at uh, the Stormwind. There's a place with sheep. Right, well that didn't do very much. Let's move it over a bit. Yeah. This, this, this could be slow. Docile sheep. That one seems to be impervious to all harm. Right. Well, we're not going to worry about that. We'll leave that. We'll leave the sheep be. We won't torment them any longer, and we will run out this way. So that's quite cool there. I, I really like that bit where you've got this whole farming zone for Iron Forge. I didn't know about the sheep. Like this area here is actually far bigger than you realise. Look at it all. That's all the farm area for Iron Forge, a protected farm area. But we can't get in there. Anybody who knows, can you please tell me, is has that always been... I'm, I'm sure I went in there. I'm absolutely positive that I went in through that door. And now I'm really genuinely confused. Crimson Whelpling, where does that... Uh, Razormore Hatchling. Crimson Whelpling. World Drop from... Oh, yeah, you've got to go and kill all the red dragons in order to get those. It can take quite a while. Right. Now all I gotta do is wait for the boat. There's the boat. It's the one we're waiting for. 
So now we can take that one. This is going to take us to Theramore. I'm going to jump down here a minute and climb off of that one. There's a lot of... I mean, we've got all of the pets in here, apart from one. There is there is just one. It's a very, very low drop rate, by the way. So it's, it's, quite, it's actually quite difficult to get that one. Um, but what you can do with this boat, you can go all the way in here. You can speak to the various different sailors. You can go into the the cabin in here. You can even sleep on the bed while you're sailing. Going around this way. All right, it's quite a lot. Some of the boats don't have quite so much stuff that you can do while you're in there. This one here, good day to you. You can even trade on this boat, which is fantastic. You can buy a bit of grog and a little party if you want. And. There's the captain right there. Need help? Need help. Uh, food and drink, goods and gear, stash. Ah, yes, the name. Well, as they say, good name. Right, goodwill. Uh, of honor, friend. Right, well, I'll, I'll just ignore that bit. And what I want to do now is not fall off. Actually, you know what? Rather than try and be clever, I'm, I'm just going to... We're just, just going to sail the boat. We get all the way over to here. And from here, we need to start making our way south. So we want to get to Tanaris next. And um, we've got flight points most of the way there. So we've we've got the flight point up here. I'm just going to go like that. Red flight. You know what? I don't want the flying cloud. Enchanted Fey Dragon. Yeah, we'll use that one. We want something with legs. Because we want to walk off the boat to start with. There, just like that. I, I, I don't know why I needed to, I, just, I just needed to be able to walk off the boat all right don't judge me don't ask silly questions there we've got a flight point we've got a new Baldruck. and that's where we need to go heroes call Oldham we can go to bootlegger outpost in Tanaris or we can go to gadget Zan be good I'd rather go to gadget Zan it was a click to zoom in there that's a new option on the flight points that's good um, anyway, we're going to head down here, and that's going to take us to Gadget Zan. So I think the other flight point that we had was that. Oh, no, that's... No, it wasn't that one. There is a flight point here somewhere that we were also op offered. We, we, we got that. It might have been down here. Might have been one down there somewhere. Is it that one? No, not Gunstan's Dig. Boot oh, it was. It was Bootlegger Outpost. It was that one right there. Right. Yeah, well, we want this one up here because we'll sort of run along there and we'll uncover a little bit more of Tanaris while we're running through. Uh, all we got to do now is fly down there first. In through Wave Strider Beach. I remember when this was all above water. Back in my day, before all of this water came in here, this was really quite awesome. Now it's covered in pirate boats and... Hundreds of pirates and flooded the troll ruins. Generally doesn't look as good as it once did. You know, all, all of this, I mean, admittedly, it was just piles and piles of sand everywhere. So it's, it's not hugely different. And remarkably, Gadget Zan actually survived intact. All right, the water came up to the edge of Gadget Zan. A load of the land sunk next to Gadget Zan. But Gadget Zan itself managed to escape relatively unscathed, which was quite remarkable. It, it really was. It was a genuinely awesome thing that Gadget Zan made it through. And now they've got a boatyard right outside the city, which is pretty cool. Because what they did, they had the, the bit all the way out there, which is a long way away. You, you had to fair, fair old trip to get there. Now, we don't have at the moment... You, got, you get different weather and... Wait a minute... Why have I not got the pets showing up? Got the quests. I'm going to go to the map and that bit's done. Uh No, there was there's a there, there's there's a thing I can't remember now. Ah. I need to go collections. Oh, right. There's a little thing. It might have not be... It might not be showing up just because of things. Silithid Hatchling. That's the one that I can't get. But Rattlesnake. 
I don't actually have a rattlesnake. And I just went past a rattlesnake. So we've got pets here in this desert that we can get. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We mind that for a second. Go to Oldham. Uh, Sidewinder. Leopard. Sidewinder. Have we got rattlesnakes? Oh, maybe not. I thought there were rattlesnakes there. Let's go back towards this way because I definitely seen a rat there. There, I seen a rattlesnake. Where is it? Where is that rat? No. Oh, that's a gold beetle. I've okay. I've I've got a gold beetle. I've got a blue quality gold beetle, but I definitely seen a rattlesnake here somewhere. That's a um not a, a rattlesnake. That's that's a stink bug. Well, I don't actually have a stink bug, so we'll go and capture one of those. Like that. Pet battle right here. So I've got two options. I can get a stink bug or I can get a sand kitten. Both of which I don't have, but both of these are not green or blue quality. So we will forfeit this particular battle. Like that. And I will also go to my pet journal. We are going to get to Oldham, don't worry. We're still planning to get down there. Collections. Put those back up to full health like that. And then we will go Skyborne once again. Right. Let's head over this way. I'm looking for... Ed so the stink bug, that, that's the one that we already looked at. So you right here, what are you? You're another stink bug. Let's go with that one. I want at least a green... There, no. No, uh, at least a green quality. Come on, we, we we can have a green quality pet. We get. I've I've, I've gotten seriously um, seriously sidetracked now. Uh, rattlesnake. Seriously squirrels now. We, we've been. Yes. <laughs> no. We got blue on both of them. We got the seagull and we got the rat. Well, I said I was going for rattlesnake, so we'll go. We, we'll we'll aim for the rattlesnake first. So I want a weakening blow on that one. Now it's a level 25 against a level 14. So um, it's not going to do a lot of damage to us. Yeah, let's go again. Give you another wallop. And it's going to give us a wallop. Then we do it again. Right, now we can capture him. Unfortunately, we can only capture the one. But I mean, we got a green quality here. We do have a green quality. We can always come back and we can have another look. Or anything better, but we, we have a pet. So I'm, I'm quite happy with it. There we go. We captured you. New pets. Added to the whole uh, bright list. Okay. Uh, I'm going to switch pets to Alfred. Alfred is the dude. He's going to do that. And then I'm going to build my turret. Put that one down like that. He's going to do that. Five rounds deals 27 to 45 flying damage to your team each round. Harsh, dude. Seriously harsh. And he's got slicing wind. Hawkeye increases critical strike chance by 75% for three rounds. Right, that's, that's not going to make much difference to us. We got that one going now. So he's going to do that. And it's not going to benefit him in the slightest. So we have a new pet to add to the fold. When we're not even with this isn't one we're going to learn. No, we've still got the one to learn. So I'll click on there and then we go to view in journal. Rattlesnake. Right there. Brand new one. And this one we will summon a minute and we will rename. So this one is 1977 Rugrat. We can't use numbers, so this is just going to be Rugrat. There we go. Rugrat the rattlesnake. Perfect. We've got a sea... Oh, the seagull was an upgrade. It wasn't a brand new one. The sand kitten, the silithid hatchling, the stink bug, and the infinite whelpling. Where's the infinite whelpling come from? Uh, oh, caverns of time. Right, so yeah, we, we, those, those are around the caverns of time. Another day. That's for another day. We'll, we'll deal with that another day. So now we will fly from here... And we're going to get all the way over to the caravan, and then we can start the next bit. This is the bit that I've been waiting for. We're going into Oldham, and we are actually going to do it. I'm not just going to spend my entire time messing around. At the moment, we don't have any um, sandstorm here in Cenaris. And when there's a sandstorm, 
you have the chance of being able to pick up the pet that's over here, the silithid hatchling. Right, but that's only available during sandstorms, and they don't happen very often. Right, as far as wet, different weather events go, sandstorms are not particularly common. So it can take you quite a while before you're actually able to earn that one. What am I going past there? That's a bit of myth. I'm just going to leave that. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not even going to worry about it. Sand Lasher down there. Right, we're just coming up. One thing that I really love about this zone is this over here. Now, this is to do with, you can see the scarab beetles on there. This is nothing to do with Uldum. This is to do with the valley down there. You, you've got Ungoro Crater. It's got ancient stuff in it. And then you've got Silithus. Now, Silithus is the ancient. You've got Anchorage over here. You've got worship of the ancient old gods in there. And this is to do with it, right? You've got this track, this path. that goes down into Ungoro Crater with these great pillars next to it. And going out of Ongoro Crater over the other side, following the road up here, you've got more of those pillars up on that side. And it's just really awesome. It's just like these pillars there. You never actually read or see anything about these pillars whatsoever, except just seeing that scarab beetle design, that emblem on them. And to me, that is just absolutely amazing. Like, really, really ancient Warcraft lore, Warcraft history. It's really, really ancient stuff. Um, and it's so old that it's it's never mentioned. It's, it's like completely lost in the annals of time. But the ruins still stand. There is the caravan that we're waiting for. This right here. We've got camels in here. Samir's camel. Max camel. We've got Samir and Mac with us. And then we've got some pack mules. We've got Lady Humps up there at the top, and then there is the domesticated Kodo over there. We've got some more people in here. I'm going to go and speak to her in a minute. Uh, there's Adara's camel over that side. Uh, Bud is over there. And then up here we've got Kurzel and Torgor. So we've got quite the uh, group of people here. So let's go and speak to Adara. How are you? There are wonders just waiting to be discovered beyond this valley. And they will be ours. And there is the entrance to Ulduar. Uh, Ulduar? Ulduar. Safe oh. travels. I can never remember. Uldum! There is the entrance to Uldum. That is the one that we want to go to. We want to go right in there to Uldum. I'm very excited about this. Are you ready? Good day to you. There are wonders just waiting to be discovered beyond this valley, and they will be ours. Hang on, I've just been distracted here. Um... Little Scut keeps dying an awful lot. Did, and so she's using up her uh, allowance on um, repairs, which is absolutely fine, by the way. Little Scut, that is absolutely fine. Uh, how can I be a great hunter when all I can hear in the background is Baby Shark and I end up singing along? I despise that song. Genuinely despise that song. Absolutely. I, I am really fortunate that my kids went past the age of wanting to listen to Baby Shark. But, yeah, I have heard it, and I hated it the first time I ever heard it. See, this is how rage-inducing this song is. The Baby Shark song. Yeah, it, it just it just causes rage in parents and wants you to participate in bloodbaths all over. Which is exactly what Miss Monkey Pup is currently doing. She's using the rage that this song is generating to up her game a bit. But anyway... On we go. Well, hello there. Whatever brought you here... Whatever brought you, I'm so glad you're here. My friends will never admit to it, but we could really use a hand. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to interrupt things here because that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoy it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.